Hi, I'm Todd Wente and this is The Daily 180. 180 seconds of motivation and inspiration intended to help you take action and improve your life. Today is episode 105 of The Daily 180 and we're going to be talking about the spiritual facet today. Just as a quick reminder for those of you who may be joining The Daily 180 uh, a, a little bit along the line, you'll hear us talk about our definition of success. Here at The Daily 180, the definition of success we use is a pretty simple one, but it may be a little bit different than maybe you've heard in some other places. Here's the definition we use. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. The emphasis here at The Daily 180 is making progress. Yes, we want to be making progress toward a worthy ideal. It's important to identify what that is. It's important to be clear about what it is so that we can recognize it when we get there. But success is found in making progress to it, not necessarily to attaining it. Today, as we talk about the spiritual facet, that's probably going to make some sense. Um, earlier today, I was talking about the idea of happiness with my family. And as we talked about the, ha the idea of happiness, we went back and forth. We came up with the conclusion that someone can be something and happy. Um, and we started talking about the different ones can we, that we could be. Can we be hungry and happy? Yes, we can. Can we be tired and happy? Yes, we can. Can we be sad and happy? Yes, we can. Can we be frustrated and happy? Yes, we can. Can we be angry and happy? Maybe. But through all of the combinations that we found, I think there is one that I can say we cannot be this and happy. And the this is ungrateful. We can't be ungrateful and still maintain happiness. If you would like to be happy, if you would like to have your life filled with happiness, it is nothing more difficult than finding something to be grateful for. As you think about the things in your life that you are grateful for, I would encourage you to write them down. Maybe write one down a day. And if there's only one thing that you can think of to be happy, to be grateful for, let that one thing, your gratitude for that one thing, sink deep into your heart and help you be happy as you face the rest of the challenges. All of us face challenges every day. All of us face differing challenges that, are, that seem to be um, perfectly tailored for where we are in our lives and for where our development is happening at different times. If we can be grateful for one thing during those times of difficulty and times of stress, I think we can find a way to be happy even in the midst of difficulties. This has been The Daily 180. My name is Todd Wente. Thanks for your time. Go forth and conquer. We'll see you next time.